Hi everyone, Kurt's up here. So today I want to talk about the PHD2 settings using the ASI Air Pro or Plus. And I had an interesting issue pop up and I want to talk about that. Many of you guys may already know the answer to this or maybe you're already aware of it, but I wasn't. So that's why that's the point of this video. I'm Kurt Zapatello and you're watching Astro Quest 1. Okay, well, if you're following me, you've noticed I haven't really made too many Astro videos lately. There's several reasons, one of which is I'm not retired, so I have a full-time job and I've been very busy lately. I'd like to retire pretty soon, but it's probably be another four years or so, then I can do this full-time. And also, I, I'm, I find it very difficult to make videos. It takes a lot of time. And also, I don't want to just make a video and just say some of the same stuff that everyone else is saying. And there's a lot of good videos out there. You've also may have noticed that I've been making some YouTube shorts on chemistry demonstrations. That's, my, that's what I do full time. I'm a chemistry teacher. So I made a separate playlist for these video shorts and I'm going to continue doing that. But that's a side, side thing. Okay, so what's going on here? Uh, I'm going to show you using, I'm going to put this on the, I'll, I'll put, a, put the app on here too and maybe you can see what's going on. And as I said, some of you guys may already be aware of it. What happened was I got a new setup here and I'm actually going to go through this setup soon too. I'm going to make some more videos. I already got some good ideas for some other videos. But one thing I did was I have this, my ASI 120 connected up to this uh, ASI uh, mini guide scope. And I've had it working with this Canon lens in 2600 using Nina on my other mount in the shed. And everything would seem to be fine. But then I went ahead and connected it up with my new ASR Plus. Uh, so I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. There you go. I showed you my new ASR Plus along with the Pegasus Pocket Power Box. But anyways, I had everything set up like I did with the other when it was working when I thought it was working in Nina, and this camera has this guide scope has been working fine with PHD two and the ASR Pro with the with my other setup my Orion eighty millimeter guide scope worked fine. I had it with the, the ZWO 60mm 280 guide scope, it works fine. But when I tried to connect it up with this system in the ASR Plus, it, did. it wasn't working. I was getting this crazy air. And it turns out I just had to make a couple, or I just had, I just had to make one adjustment that I seemed to fix everything. Okay, I'm going to start it uh, up my ASR probe and then I'll show you on both. The ASI error. Reading my scope. And here's what I have. I got the ASI 2600, uh, 120 for the guide camera. There's no EAF hooked up to this. And I'll just press enter. Okay. Okay. And let's go take a look at my guide settings. Uh, first off, I'm going to turn off my camera here. There we go. I turned off the main camera because I don't want to. I, I want the fan to move around. Go to the guide settings. So I just press the guide go the guide camera. And what I had originally, you notice where it says calibration step. I, I originally what it comes defaulted to it. The calibration step is 2,000 microseconds, and max declination and max RA are also at 2,000. And I was, somebody made a video who recommended changing those to like four or 500, which I did. And that seemed to work really well with the, when I was using Nina, and when I was using my other guide scopes, that is the Orion uh, 80 millimeter scope, it was working fine with that. But for some reason, 
this particular guide camera, guide scope setup using PHG2 with the uh, ASR Pro, it wasn't working with it. kept it never calibrated. Not, it, the starter, it, the air was like, and the, the star didn't move enough. And so what happened is I was doing some reading and they just recommended one of the things you can do is change that calibration step to 2000. And that'll, that actually worked. And what I didn't know, when it's doing its guiding, when it's doing, when it starts its calibration for guiding, it has to move 25, um, a distance, there's, there's that distance uh, value that appears on your, when it's doing its calibration. It has to move 25 arc seconds away. The guide, the guide star has to move 20, 25 arc seconds away within 60 calibration steps. And if it doesn't, it's going to say it doesn't move enough. And when I had it down to 500, it just wasn't moving enough. And so what the website said, I think it was actually the ZWO website, as a matter of fact, they said, raise that value to at least 2000, if not more. And when I, as soon as I did that, every time the step, when it was doing its calibration step, it increased it and it easily made it to moving 25 calibration steps within 60, 60, it moved it, <laughs> keep getting tongue twisted. It moved it 25 arc seconds away with the within the 60 calibration steps. In fact, it did it like, I think 30 or something like that. So uh, that fixed it. And as a matter of fact, when I was using Nina the other night, I noticed my calibration step uh, was, again, it was real, it was much lower. Um, I forgot what it was. It was like 600. And I was having trouble trying to guide using Nina the other night with a different setup. Uh, and I just changed that to 2000 and it worked fine. So that fixed it. So that was my problem all along. So as I said, uh, a lot of you guys may already be aware of that. I wasn't, and now I am. Oh, hey, one other thing I forgot to mention. This uh, new ASI, ASI Air Plus, uh, in order to transfer files and whatnot over to your computer, uh, you have to use a, well, what I'm using is this, oops, there we go, this thing. So it comes with a USB-C adapter that plugs right into the, right into the ASI Air Plus, and you just plug your uh, your other end of the USB into the computer and you can transfer files that way. You, when you do that and you want to delete the stuff from the, uh, from the ASI Air, uh, you, you can't do it with a computer, or at least it won't do it on my computer. You actually have to be on your, your tablet device in order to delete the files. So I just thought I'd uh, quickly mention that as well. It's, but otherwise, this uh, ASIR Plus works uh, very similar to the ASIR Pro, which I, like I said, I absolutely love those things, and this is my second one. Well, that's all I have for you for now, folks. Uh, and I, as I said, I've got a lot of other ideas for videos and stuff I want to do, want to talk about, and I'll start making more videos again. So that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.